Yo, what is good YouTube? Back at it again today with another NHL 20 video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the best possible build in NHL 20. Now, I showed you guys a video, or I uh, posted a video a while back, back when the, uh, what was it called, the NHL 20 beta, back when that was out. And I had no audio, and I still feel bad for that, that video. Anyways, um, I had no audio in that video, but I still tried to like uh, convey my message of what to do. Um, and it wasn't that great. I did get like 400 views, and the views are going up a ton right now as NHL 20 is in its first couple weeks. Uh, I think it's actually been a week since uh, it got released to everybody. Um, it's been about a week and a few hours um, since it was released. It's been exactly like a week since I literally hopped on this game. Um, I wasn't able to get it early. My EA access was uh, acting up. Um, but anyway, I've the first week I haven't really made many videos. Um, I'm trying to get used to the PS4. Now I had NHL. Actually, let me check it right now. I have it somewhere. I had NHL 17 on PS4 and in between and that's the only NHL I've gotten um, that I've had for PS4 before and I really don't know why I got it for PS4 I think it was because that was just when I got my PS4 but I really don't have that many people that I know that play on PS4 um, a lot of my friends play on Xbox I got so many people to play of my friends that don't even know what the hell hockey is um, lacrosse teammates um, I, ha I did get some hockey teammates, and obviously they didn't know what hockey is, but lacrosse teammates, like just friends, just in general, people I played Fortnite with, I got them to buy NHL, and I was really happy, and now I'm trying to give them to buy a whole PS4 so they can play with me, but I had to get a P I had to get it for PS4, and I'm going to be getting it for Xbox, just play with my friends, not really grinding much, just to play with friends. This PS4 account is for grinding, so you guys know that. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop talking about this and uh let's just get into this video so you guys we're gonna you're gonna want to go um into your customize right and you can also do this if you're like loaded waiting for a game or something you just click on like your loadout or whatever um so you want to go don't go to customize skater or customize goalie obviously this is not a goalie video so if you're here to look for a goalie build you're at the wrong video um i will be posting a goalie video soon um but not right now. Alright, so you're going to want to go to edit. You're going to want to go to skater, not goalie again. This is not a goalie video. If you're looking for a goalie video, you're at the wrong place. So as you guys can see, I have three builds. Um, this power forward I was actually using the other day. That's why I see that primary trait. Earlier, I was messing around with a sniper. I took all the traits off. Um, third build, I don't even... I haven't even... Didn't know I had the Enforcer D-Man, actually. Alright, so we're going to get into this. Alright. So if you guys, this this video is gonna be an option video. It's like one of those books you read back in like third grade where you like choose what page you go to or whatever. So that's what you're gonna do. Now, I really suggest you guys use a sniper for this. If you really wanna use a power forward, go for it. I'll show you the power forward real quick. So you're gonna wanna make a power forward. Um, this is gonna be real quick, real quick, all right? Actually, hold up, hold up. I'm about to go back to the sniper real quick. Oh, shiz. Okay, we're gonna go back to this sniper. Um, actually, guys, I'm gonna show you the sniper. This is gonna take a while. At the end, I'll show you the play, the playmaker. Those are the only two builds you really need, unless you're a defenseman. If you're a defenseman, you guys really have no business watching the video either. So if you guys just want to click off this video and look for another video, go ahead. So as a sniper, you guys, you guys want to be pretty quick, but still able to shoot. And if you guys see, if I mess with the height. It doesn't do anything to my wrist shot accuracy in the top left corner or any offensive skill whatsoever. The only thing it really changes is acceleration, speed, body checking, and some balance, durability, fighting skill. All on the right side, athleticism, and just one defensive thing, which is body checking. It doesn't do anything to face offs. You guys are center. Um, last year, I had a 5'11 guy. I did not like it because I didn't really like the speed. So if you guys see, we just drop him four inches. We already go up two speed um, to 88. And I suggest you guys play on either 5.7 or 5.8. I've been playing on 5.7, but I'm going to go on 5.8 just for this video. Um, for weight, I really I suggest not going above 190. I don't even suggest going above 185. Unless you guys want, if you guys want to hit, go for it. Put it up as high as you want. But if you guys are just looking for an offensive sniper, which is what I like to play, um, drop it down. I've been playing on one set. I've been playing on the smallest guy possible, 170, 175. 
or not 170, one, 157, 170. Um, anyway, I'll play on 176 just for this video. It doesn't really make a difference. Or 176, yeah. Alright. Che, you can shoot whatever you want. I have always shot righty. It just feels right. Okay, this is where you guys are going to do what I was saying like that. That uh, choose your own thing. So, as you guys can see, I've not leveled up that much. I've just been screwing around a lot in hut. And there will be videos coming out for you guys with that. Anyway, um... The first, for your first trait, the, now I'm going to give you guys some options. If you're the dangling type, put dirty dangles on. Put, put dirty dangles 2 on. Don't even bother dirty dangles 1 unless you don't have dirty dangles 2. Never put level 1 anything on unless it's the only one you have. So you're going to either want to do that or quick wrister. And I'm just going to be using quick wrister 1 for this video. That's what I used last year. If you guys want to go back, there's a video. should have be like between 600 and 700 views. I don't know the exact title, so I'll just tell you that. It might be my only video of NHL 19 of builds. Um, so if you guys want to take a look, this is basically the same build as that. But change it up just a little bit. All right, for your second trait, um, so the first trait you wanted to either go quick wrister, and this is for the sniper build, by the way. First, the first trait you want, either quick wrister, or you want to do, um, you would want to do the dirty dangles. Um, now this one, you're not going to want to do an offensive trait, unless, you, if, if you really, if, if you're that tryhard that wants to dangle the crap out of somebody and score every single time, which we all want to do, and you can still do it without putting two offensive traits as your primary and secondary. So, as your primary, if you want to be that, just put quick wrist, or put dirty dangles on. If you want to be kind of offensive and defensive, put quick wrist on, because you're going to score a lot, and... You're not going to be able to dangle that great. You'll still be able to dangle, f like, very good. But not as great as, like, a dangler with dirty dangles. I can't stand. Hold up. I cannot stand a fucking dangler with dirty dangles. Watch, pardon my language, but, like, I can't stand that. That's one of my pet peeves in this game. A fucking dangler with dirty dangles, too. That just pisses me off. Anyway, the next thing you're going to do is stay away from offensive things unless... Like like what I said, unless you want to really be the offense. Now I suggest if it depending on how tall you made your guy, and small your sniper is, you put core balance one or two on, probably two if you have it, as your second. Um, my guy isn't too small. I mean, he's small enough to want to use that. Oops, I actually just backed out. Um, I'm just gonna. All right. So those and you could use any of these header things. I wouldn't do that. Um. I'm honestly gonna say hockey IQ is your go-to thing to do, or core balance or cardio masters. Not that, not that bad. Defensive minded, you could do that. Offensive minded brings your puck control up. Offensive minded will bring your dangles up a little bit. Um, but we're just gonna. Uh, we could go beast mode. Okay. Anything. All right, no. All right, we're gonna go with hockey IQ just because. That's one of the best. I started using that on my power forward towards the end of NHL 19. It really helped. For the last one, literally do whatever you want. Whatever skill you need, you think you need better. Deflection Master and Rebound, you use that if you're playing EASHL, like in uh, threes and sixes and club or whatever, which I don't do too much of, at least not right now. I've been pl grinding threes arcade, the turn new tournament style. Um... You don't need any of these really, these last five for the tournament style stuff. Now you would want probably Breakaway Magician, which is what I used last year. Um, that's just offensive specialties though. For this one, Quick Defensive Stick is very good if you're always back on defense. Um, Marathon Man, you really want to get this one. This is the go-to one if, like you need this one. Um, once you unlock it, you gotta put this specialty on any build. That's that's the specialty I suggest. So for this video, since we don't have Marathon Man, and I will be releasing a better video soon, because I really don't have that much right now. Um, see, there's some that are just pointless, pow like Power Play Quarterback. That's totally pointless. Um, okay, we're gonna go with. Uh, what are we gonna go with? We're gonna go with Drive the Net. Just because we're gonna be playing ones, so this this is a very good build for ones. Just so you guys know, and really quick, um, I'll show you. Actually, 
guys I'll show you in a different video about power forward I really don't have that much time to I don't want I don't know how long this video has been I can't really count but I want to be able to show you guys a ones ones game real quick um, with this build just to show you guys how it works actually we won't even play ones that's gonna take too long to load in um, so I'm gonna stop this clip right now and go into the next clip and next uh, next you'll see me in pro am um, this is under draft round matchups I I just completed the first round of pro am yesterday and yeah all right YouTube we're back uh, to this video um now i'm in pro-am and so this is a little bit harder this uh i'm in like the next round of pro-am so i tried to dangle off that face off all right so we're just going to show you that's quick register for you okay so there's one trait knocked out um what other trait i got um hockey iq i'll show you that trait real quick uh what's my specialty I, f I totally forgot what my specialty is. <laughs> um, all right, give me the puck. Okay, this is. I'll show you some hockey IQ right here. Oh, that's not hockey IQ. There's some hockey IQ. Instead of like diving, like he actually slid. Um, this won't be hockey IQ. I kind of want to say I purposely missed that. I didn't really want to score that. So look at that turn. That 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 would be tight turns. Um, I'm trying to sh think of like ways I could show you how hockey IQ affects your game in NHL 20. Um, Jesus Christ. All right, sauce me, buddy. All right. So it will just like take smarter shots. You'll take s smarter shots, and it's hard to notice. Like I'm trying to show you guys, it's really hard to notice, but eventually you will notice. Like right there, that's not hockey. You no, know, that's hockey IQ. I'm trying. I'm struggling to figure out how to teach you guys hockey IQ. But I guess I'll just show you guys the rest of this video in quick wrister. Quick wrister is like amazing. Like you can't play NHL without quick wrister. I almost just won that face off off the dangle. Oh, what a save. Alright, I'm going to see if I can dangle off of this face off, hopefully. Oh, oh, that kind of worked. That kind of did just work. And I thought I could get the wraparound. I've only completed that one time. Co hey, guys, here's the comment of this video, like the what you should comment. Comment how many like times you've, and if you have, successfully... Um, Successfully like one of like one a face off of a dangle and then wrapped around to the other side That would be so sick I've done it one time and I don't even remember it and I remember I didn't clip it because my clips weren't working that day And that was on Xbox um, That's all I remember I would have just I'm sorry guys I was ta talking and not paying attention to the game But imagine that puck just goes in the net off that <laughs> wow goal isn't paying attention Anyway, we're just gonna try and finish this game up in the video